Good afternoon. It is Wednesday, September 14th, and I'm doing a road trip from Minneapolis to California as I'm going to be attending Tesla Course at 23 this weekend at Buttonwillow. But while I'm charging here in Nevada, I just want to make a quick video about the unfortunate fan and braking episodes I've experienced across this road trip so far. It seems to be as bad as it's ever been. Um, I've experienced well over 30 plus um, phantom braking episodes and this is hard phantom braking much like I used to see with the radar based model 3 I had before you know back in 2018 2019 where the car would slam hard on the brakes for whatever reason a pattern I've noticed is when you're on a straight section of interstate um, you know and there's a semi trailer at least a thousand feet or more in front of you it can also be a big camp or a big trailer um, you'll see a visualization flicker on the screen and all of a sudden the car will hesitate a little bit on the throttle and then it will jam hard on the brakes much like it did in 2018 2019. now obviously we're using vision only now for autopilot i'm in a newer model 3 so there's there is no radar um, but as my understanding even though i'm running fsd beta 10.69.2 the autopilot stack is the same code that's in the upstream you know releases that the rest of the non fsd beta fleet gets so in theory this behavior should be more common than just for beta testers but like I said, it's been very, very common. I wanted to provide some examples of this behavior so you can have an idea of where things are at. And the point of this video is just to provide some constructive feedback to Tesla. I know they have a lot of balls in the air right now on things they're working on. I'm really hopeful though that we'll see full stack FSD soon. And I'm hopeful that these sort of issues will get fixed by that release eventually. So anyways, without further ado, I'll show you a few examples here which are back to back of this behavior. Thanks for watching. All right, so there you go. There's a perfect example of kind of the uh, phantom braking. So I let it kind of go a bit further there, um, but because uh, nobody was behind us. But you can see it went from 85 to 65 in a few seconds there. Now I have track brake pads, so it probably helped it a little bit stop, you know, a bit faster. But um, it's a good example of what I've experienced now. I have to say over 30 plus times since I left Minneapolis yesterday. Any row with hills, it seems to be when you're going downhill and you're seeing it's doing it again here as an idea. Um, and I'm not on a crazy undulating row. It's, it's actually where the road just goes straight. I mean, it, there's a little bit of elevation change here and there, but it seems to see something way in the distance. In this case, another semi probably a good probably half mile ahead of us. Um, but yeah, I've noticed it mostly with semi-trailers in the distance and when you're going downhill um, is, is usually the most common. Sometimes when you're going up a hill as well, but most, most commonly it's downhill. Um, and you can see right there, it, it sees something and then all of a sudden it kind of hesitates and then it just hits the brakes hard. Um, so this seems to be something that um, is unique to Vision Autopilot. I did not have these issues on the I-80 when I did this trip. Uh, a year and a half ago with my radar based uh, model 3 so um, I'm sure maybe there's some tuning that can be done or whatever but um, but yeah so that's an example of just kind of what I wanted to show you